What's going on guys? Thanks for watching this video. Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Uh, here is a question from Bob Ziff. Tony, what is the best primer and filler to use on fiberglass bodies? So let's start with the filler. Um, if you're using filler just to clean up waves or ripples in your bodywork in the fiberglass, I would go with a regular filler, okay, non-fiberglass filler. Something like Rage Gold, Rage Ultra, uh, even Z-Grip is good. I have this stuff in my shop at the moment right now. Uh, Evercoat Lightweight is a cheaper uh, version. It's still good, you know, it's still good. So I would say any one of these, depending on, you know, what you want to go with. They say the more expensive stuff uh, is prone to less pinholes, but I've had really good experiences with Z-Grip. I like this one a lot. So I would use this for basic shaping, you know, making sure your body panels are nice and flush and when you're blocking and doing body work. But if you have cracks in your body work and you want to try to repair some cracks or you, you have some areas that you're working on, like customizing, I would use the Short Strand Fiberglass by Ever Evercoat. Ever, it's called Everglass. It's right here. Um, so this is the stuff right here that you'd want to use, okay, if you're doing repairs. Uh, there's also other stuff called kitty hair, but this is pretty good stuff, Everglass. Okay, so look into that stuff. As far as primer, I actually have the primer with me right now. Uh, it's a product from Tamco. Tamco is, uh, they've been around for quite some time now, and they are competing with the high-end market. So they're basically using uh, materials just as good, if not better, than the most high-end brands and giving it to you at a very, very good price. So this is the HP 5310 series. Uh, the DTM, let's see, the DTM High Build Gray Primer. This is it right here at Zula.com. You can get a whole gallon kit for 121 bucks, which is a very, very good deal. Uh, of course, there's going to be a little bit of shipping on top of it because this is very heavy material. Like this quart here that I'm holding is pretty heavy. And it's a four to one mixture. So it comes with uh, a little... A uh, little bottle of hardener here if you want. Eight ounces of hardener here. Okay, and 32 ounces of uh, of your primer, your gray primer. You can get them in a couple of different colors, gray, black, or white. Um, I like gray for overall. Um, and uh, and that's pretty much it. I would definitely go with the Tamco. They sell at Zula.com. I'll leave a link in the description below in YouTube. Um, and maybe it'll pop up in a card. So anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. To learn more about DIY auto body and paint, uh, feel free to check out learnautobodyandpaint.com. Just click the link right up at the top right of this video here if you're on YouTube mobile. Click that, and then you'll be able to click download to download this free auto body guide. And uh, if you're on desktop, click down below here to get more information, more links uh, to the resources that I just talked about in this video. So it's Tony here. Like the video, share, subscribe, turn on notifications for more videos like this. I'm just making a ton of videos uh, on some Q&A for people, subscribers, just helping you out. I figured if I did it this way, uh, I'd be able to get the point across much more easier than just replying in an email. Plus, this can have the potential to benefit more people. So again, it's Tony here. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the like button before you leave. Don't forget. Ciao.